Welcome back to the Windy City Open 2022. It was only in the summer that we were here in Chicago for a terrific world championship at the University Club. Now we're back for one of the majors on the PSA World Tour for the 2021-22 season. Did you see the confidence from Arnold? Look at the tee position from her. She's quite far up and she's looking to rush her opponent, take some time away. And that's clearly unsettling Tong here. That up. Yeah, we've got punished there really, slightly overhitting. That's where it's hard to get the balance sometimes. Out, three, eight. Yeah, it's quality finish. Interesting here from Ten Rachel three. Arnold. Plays Game the cross-court volley nick for the winner, but it's the length that did the damage, forcing Tong into that extreme back left-hand corner on a weak return. Um, that's out, it's heavy. Again, that's heavy on the cross-court. So a perfect start, Game really, Arnold. from Arnold Rachel Arnold. Continue that vein of form that we've seen over the last three weeks where they can adapt. Terrific shot. That's good movement again. Oh, this is brilliant movement from Arnold. Some good attacking play as well from Tong, and she's made this. She's got the reward there, Tong. That's quality from her. It all. Oh my goodness me! I am searching. No, we can't check the line. It touched the line. Ten all. A player must win by two points. Each player has one review available. Oh, it looks extremely close. What do you think with that, Joey? Oh, goodness me. I mean, it. Yeah, possibly uh, a little bit fortunate there for Rachel Arnold. What? Okay. The Oracle has spoken. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the <laughs> machine? Well, there. Oh my goodness me. And that 13 all. Mitchell Arnold convert this game ball to go two love up. It's that another flat face, the flat racket face. Again, it's the forehand that's just been un the undoing of Tom. To Arnold. Arnold leads you can see it as she comes into love. impact, Joey. That no, the strings evident. are facing the floor. Very, very evident trajectory going. Five. Terrific move, on. There are other players that held the ball into it, but I mean... Not quite as well as he did, no, mate. No, I was no, on the no, receiving I'm end, to be fair. No, no, Trust no. me. Got a few charges. <laughs> oh, yeah, did some off. brutal things to my hip flexors. Off, off into the off. front corners, but uh, again, another... You get on the ball early, you hold the ball, you can make your opponents... Look hugely pedestrian on these glass courts. So they're Game all ball. set. It's all grooved. It's all set. They know exactly what they're doing. They just play the shot. Yep. Open racket face. Nice and low. Body position when going short. Done it again. That's two <laughs> game balls saved <laughs> by Arnold. I mean, this is reminiscent, really, of the second game. One review available. Another game ball. Third game ball for Tong. Come on, PJ. Who's going to win this third? I'm going to go for Tong. I think she's going to scrap this one out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. The old game frame up, Tong. if in doubt. Arnold leads two games to one. That's a terrific shot there. Oh, <laughs> When you get it right, it looks good. And That's that the, you know, this is the other side of the coin, but yeah. it's about the consistency and it. Oh, 
Like to see that again. Did look like a little bit of a scoop. No doubt. Like to see that again. No, we're not going to see it. She's not. Penda, she's not seven, quizzed it. Eight. Pick up in that front left-hand corner from Tong. It was a bit of a carry. Yeah, it's a bit more relaxed there in the follow-through from Ten, Rachel seven, Arnold. It's the first time I've seen four. that today. <laughs> oh, she couldn't quite get it up. Nine, match to Arnold. So Arnold will literally breathe a sigh of relief. It'll be four, interesting to hear 17, her interview. 15. She is being 10, interviewed 12, after this, which I imagine we 11, are. Um, I think we just played each other a lot of times already, so we know each other's game, so it was tough playing her. Um, but I'm pretty happy I got the win today. She's always a tough player to play. Um, yeah, so I lost to her the last time, so I'm happy with this. Look forward to tomorrow. It's a quick turnaround. You'll be back here at noon tomorrow. Hanya El Hamami, talk about that match. It's going to be tough for sure. Um, we've played each other. I think maybe twice now, and I've lost three love the both, both, both times. Uh, so yeah, excited to rest and then <laughs> get ready for tomorrow. Well, Rachel Arnold up against Hanya El Hamami tomorrow at 12 o'clock. At least she's got a, a run out here on the glass court, 55 minutes, just surpassing their average match time by one minute. And out, 4-5. This game between these two, third match of today's play here on the glass court. Is it appeal? Oh, no problem, though. No, Just quick hand, hand up out. and then dismantling that shot. Suits you. See, that's oh, it. Oh, goodness me. That's it, though. That's the and movement. Out. Ten all. A player must win by two points. Each player has one review available. Savage boast. Slightly back in the court there, Mendez. Second. Game opportunity here for Mendez. Out. Oh, it's good pressure. Very good pressure. You can hear the response of the crowd here. Mendes. Mendes Local player based in Chicago. Time. Certainly a clean hitting affair between these two. Quite similar stuff. Oh, oh my word, that is an you. absolute ripper. And out, two, three. Good. Good for Mendes on the forehand. Oh, that's an absolute ripper of a bow, so very difficult to get underneath that. Yeah, she really opened up the grip, actually. This is massive for the American. She hit it onto a racket, the wrong shot selection. And out, ten all each player. She was waiting for that volley, Ashley. Twelve ten, game two, Ibrahim, one game all. Well, Ibrahim. Taking a bit of a charge in the early stages of this third. The physicality's been high. Oh, goodness me, she's ripping them in. She is. She is ripping those in. I mean, she's played that from the beginning. 
just very just and it's very, and it's very good like it's yeah. just very good quality from Ibrahim. She's not made an error. I mean, anything that's loose, she's whether it's forehand or backhand, she's just made it kind <laughs> of clap. But that was pretty silent. Looked like it out of court, but John Mazzarella not able to see that height. Down. Okay. Eleven one. Game to Ibrahim. Ibrahim leads. That's br brilliantly in both front corners, but the boast she whips round. A lot of severity and wreck head speed. It's quite hard to read it. Slightly miss hitting that one, but it was what she wanted to do. And she's racing away again in this fourth. Back in herself. This is confidence. Anything loose has just been dealt with. This is exactly what she did in the third game. Match ball. This is trouble. And there it is. There's the conversion. The scream of Yola from Ibrahim. Well, she'll be having a, a couple of words with Bill Buckingham, but that was hugely impressive from the Egyptian. 36 minutes, 3-1 victory over the local from Chicago, Haley Mendez. I'm so happy that uh, this is my first time to play this tournament. And I'm so happy to win because I'm learning for all here. It's a big uh, player. Uh, I love her play, play so much. Um, it's not easy to win <laughs> here in the hometown, but I'm so excited and I'm so happy to win because I have been... Uh, many times I'm lost from first round, so I'm so happy to win this so much. Well, we enjoy. Once you get it there, it's so hard for, for it to get out of the corner with there's not much bounce on it and it's dead. Just like that. It's nice from Cortese, just stopping Whitlock's Four, movement. Six. Yeah, you can see Cortese is in big trouble in this back Nine, left four. corner. She has to get very low in order to get that ball out even, which cre Get. Oh, it's well done from Cortese, all set up with that drop shot. And that 5-10. And Kimball. they knew that Whitlock was going to be charging to try and cover the cross court. A couple of those points you can put down to the slight rushing nature of the, you know, 10-4 up, just want to get this game over. She has to be careful to reset here. That, yeah, that backhand volley is giving her so much this game. Apt that she finishes the game out on it. Great variation. Three love. Cortese is so dangerous when she's set on mm. the ball, nice and balanced, and then you see the options up there. So Cortese with a significant lead here. It's looking tough on the court. Mm. Conditions, it, you have yeah, to say. Yeah, it looks very dead. Cortese, when she's on that ball, she's absolutely lethal. See here, the great adaption through the hands. Emily Whitlock. 
Well, then she does make a first movement to the left. Oh, of course, tough. But though, yeah, isn't it's it? very it's really close. Fading. Yeah, it is. That it was just the second bounce might have been. Yeah. Was well, confirmed. Or That's a no let. No let. Decision upheld. Two. So much of Cortese's. Because the glass court's so extreme in its conditions and the way it plays, it can be such a difficult place to operate in. Yeah. yeah again, it's that just that cleverness from Cortese and the fact that she has nine, shot options three. right until the last moment and then she can she can pick and choose depending yeah it's nicely done by Cortese put so much cut on that Cortese. ball it stayed incredibly Cortese. short Two games you heard the acknowledgement from Whitlock after the shot that's better that's better she's got that she has to ver vary that volley from the, on oh, the backhand. Oh, dear. Willock's gone down there. Oh. That doesn't look good. Hopefully, she's going to be all right. You OK? I reckon it's the ankle of Whitlock Do we here. Need a physio? Of course, someone like Cortese very aware on the court. She just looks so comfortable. That Six power zone one in the mid, left. mid part of the court. Whitlock still battling away on there, despite being hampered by that glute. Nine With Cortese, she's not making any errors here. She's moving the ball without risk. Oh. Emily Whitlock was still battling one. away Mark at the end there. Chase. All credit to Three her. To Hopefully, Nine, 11, she'll be able to... 11, two. Get that injury looked four, after 11, one. quickly, and it won't cause her too many problems or keep her out for too long. But it's Julianne Cortis who progresses to the next round. Um, strange start. I don't think I've ever had a start to a match like that with a no let review on the first point and then stroke. It just was all a bit strange at the beginning. To be fair to Emily, she's so accurate and she takes that ball out and really she punishes you on there, and there was nothing I could do. So. Just game plan in the second was just to get those back corners and get up on the volley. This is a quick court, so I managed to, to get in front and then push on from there. And obviously, unfortunately, the, she's had a fall and I hope that she feels better and gets recovery for it. But it's never nice to win a match like that, but I'm also happy to get through. Of so many tournaments, she keeps on getting the top three seeds. And there's now finally getting a breakthrough. There's there's a, an, an element of a, a gap in match play and match play experience at this level. Well, she's looking sharp. So, B. See the way she moves onto yeah. that ball into the front right Obviously hand. Obviously, in the 80s with the Martins and Service Gerald and, um, and so forth. Such a strong, strong history in the sport. And then Egypt, England were taking over. And then Nine as this two. pandemic started to happen, Australia wasn't quite the powerhouse that it once was. But this cannot help. The reason Three, why you ball. become professional, that's gone. You don't see it anymore. So t I just wonder but what the, Out. you know, 11, quite a structure game to Sobe. in the country. Sobe leads one game to love. Awesome. I mean, Sarah Cardwell is the um, offspring of one such player, Vicky, Vicky Cardwell, who was definitely a dynamic character in her day. 
A bit of an uh, Aussie, Aussie legend and how it's up. 2 1. Effectiveness of the forehand boast from Cardwell isn't yes, quite sure. as she wants it. Cause oh, nice. Well, it's a nice touch from Cardwell, but so be equal to it. Moving on to it like a flash. Heard the appreciation from Cardwell. 11-5, game to Sobi. Sobi leads two games to love. Yeah, it's nicely finished. 5-2 left. By Sobi. It's creating more daylight between Cardwell and Sobey. Oh, that is a well wicked there shot. you go. What Hang a volley out. drop that is. This has a difficulty rating of 10. <laughs> yeah. Just a safety let. Still seven match balls for Sobey. Well, it's nicely done. 11-3, match to Sobey, three games to love. Sabrina Sobey certainly looking sharp 11, 5, on there. 11, 3. I'm sure Vicky Car Sarah Card will be pleased to have had this opportunity to get back on court, to be back on the world tour travelling again. <laughs> She'll look to build from here. 20 minutes in duration, that one. Sabrina Sobey taking out Sarah Cardwell. Three games to love. Just to play well, I think it's more important. Um, and just to have a good opponent and have fun. It's also very important, so <laughs> I'm happy that I won in three, and I'm happy I accomplished all of those other things as well, so I'm pretty pleased with how the evening went. You have been playing some fantastic squash. You had a great run in Cleveland, and just last week you reached the semifinals at Squash on Fire. Talk about your game and how that portends for this week, the first Platinum of event of 2022. Yeah, uh, thank you. Um, I'm very happy with how the first couple of tournaments go, ha have went, and um, it's definitely a confidence booster, but it's also kind of quite exhausting a little bit, so it's a weird balance of like feeling good from the past couple wins and also like going into this tournament a little bit maybe like lower energy than maybe if I didn't play these past events, but I think that's all part of the, the journey and the learning experience and just to progress and to keep building up and getting stronger with your, your game. So, yeah, we'll see how this week goes. 